that means something else. White laces um, for guess what? White supremacy. Red is for bloodshed. They call it red shed. Palm pepper spray has recently reformulated for even more effect when you bless the deserving with the hot sauce. Palm is what I use between a harsh word and a gun and encourage everyone to do likewise. And then hand signals. Like I said, kids are goofy, but they're not, you know, making hand signals which is for no reason at all. Unless you're the military and it's like this or whatever the cool kids are doing. Look for those hand signals. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what they're doing with them. I was, I was going to make one, like, I'm WW. This is going to be mine. But I'm not a threat. And bandanas of any color. I'm not talking about shemogs because shemogs are cool. A shemog is cool. You've seen like the, what the military guys wear and what you'll see me wear on the range sometimes. Despite what my wife says, they're very, very cool. A bandana, however, you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about a bandana of, of red or blue or black. A bandana that's got like the, like the um, I'll show you a picture of it right here in a little while. Uh, the, the red, blue, or black, that bandana like the little kid was wearing, like the baby was wearing. Those kind of stereotypical bandanas. Those are a real good indicator. Just on, the head or... on the head, on the leg, um, sticking out of the pocket, sticking out of the pants, almost always. Flagging is yeah, that's that's one of the things that I think the Crips would do. Flagging, but you know if they're on the football field pulling them, that's different. <laughs> Just something that is not there for a good reason. You know, you might have it here, <laughs> you might have it in your pocket, but not hanging out showing that color. That's what you're looking for showing that color and here's some of those hand signals like I, like I say all kids do goofy stuff but this is obviously they're, they're showing different things that's going to be an e for e side they're trying to make a letter or a number out of their hands and we know letters and numbers are something to look for it doesn't really matter which letter or number it is in this case and we don't want to leave out these guys National Socialist Freedom Movement. These are your Nazis. Don't get confused by politics about any of this stuff. National Socialist Freedom Movement. They do not care about freedom for anybody else but them. Yeah, and that's... Or, or yeah. That's, that's why I say don't let politics confuse you. Don't let politicians confuse you. What do we have here? Swastika, that's a good clue. We kind of have red, white, and blue because these guys think they're patriots. We, this guy's literally wearing jack boots. Notice that they're tucked in. The Nazi eagle. Avoid that guy. That, I believe, is on the courthouse steps at Dallas, one of the Dallas County courthouses. Now, do y'all have guys watching their guys on the website? Because I came across one of theirs called worldtruth.ca. They got some pretty crazy stuff on there. Talk about our guys don't, but his guys probably do. <laughs> fusion. We talked about fusion a little bit ago. Confirm and deny any type of investigation in any group of white supremacists. Yes. Those guys have got some like crazy nonsense. Like they are full on. That's almost all we get from fusion anymore. Legitimately very scary. Yeah. That's absolutely. They have compounds. Um, not just them, but they have compounds where they train and do all kinds of stuff. Not that far from right here. Don't forget 88 and 14 words. Mm, we got it coming. Okay. I got it coming. Nice, nice segue. These, yep. These are my people, apparently. I still have my haircut. <laughs> <laughs> he missed that one, too. Yeah. Don't watch the video because it's terrible, but just I'll tell, I'll tell you the story later. Haircuts also on the list of indicators? Uh, bald people generally, Haircut. generally scary. Um, no. No, yes, well, yes, you'll you will see that here in a second. I just I just like the haircut because you know I'm a good guy though. Uh, we'll actually talk about that just 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 a little while. Okay. Um, hammer skins. If anything says skins on it, and it doesn't start with shirts and, <laughs> probably not a good thing. Probably not a good thing. Uh, hammer skin nation is, and you'll see all these deals, you'll see a lot of socialist kind of stuff with the axes and the hammers. You'll see rebel flags. You'll see um, gears and wheels. Those are generally those socialist, fascist, Nazi kind of guys. This is a very interesting group, the Hammerskins. 
Uh, they started in Dallas. And then they became really big in Oklahoma City and Tulsa in the 80s. I haven't looked them up recently. There was a time in 2016 when you can go to Apple Music and buy some of their songs. I'm pretty sure Apple got on top of that pretty quick. That is a white power movement and still headquartered in Oklahoma, to my knowledge. They use music to recruit. Isn't that weird? Using music to recruit kids. It's not good music at all. And here's some more white supremacist stuff. Now, boots that are sometimes, usually bloused, sometimes bloused, but usually they are in my experience. Colored laces can mean different things. If it's not the color of lace that came with it, they're either ordered the wrong thing like somebody I know did one time, or that means something else. White laces um, for guess what? White supremacy. Red is for bloodshed. They call it red shed for bloodshed, red laces. And it can mean rank in the organization. It can mean that certain organization to dis distinguish between one organization and another. Uh, bomber jackets, and I'll show you some pictures of these guys here in a little while, and of course swastikas. Now here's something you got to be careful of. This is not a swastika, this thing on the left. Um, I'm a metal detector and I just happened to come across this at some point. People will dig up these little necklaces and they're like, wow, I got a Nazi necklace I found. That was just a good luck symbol and it also comes from the Buddhist faith. It's just the opposite of a swastika. Another thing, Hitler screwed up for everybody. He took the good luck symbol, flipped it, made it into the Nazi stuff. He also screwed up the name Adolf forever. <laughs> Can't name your kid Adolf at all. It's very, very common. Very, very common as a good luck symbol. There's a building in my hometown where they got an entire wall made of those and, and they have to explain it to people constantly. And then SS. What is SS for? Yep. Not oh, sheesh. Not good guys. Here we are back with the skin. Now this is what's called an iron cross. Anything that says skin on it, probably not good unless it's preceded by what? Shirts, shirts and. Iron cross can go a bunch of different ways, but another way to look, another thing to look for is lightning bolts. The number is 1488 or 1488. Now being that y'all are behind on points, should you tell me what 14 is? What's 14? 13, I'm, I'm going to watch you do it. Not, not one N. <laughs> Four, well, the 14th of the alphabet is N. I'll give you a hint. Neo-Nazi, Nazi. That's where you get 14 a lot of times. 88 is, guess what? You had that one earlier. Heil Hitler. HH, Heil Hitler. So unless you graduated in that year, which I did, then probably not going to have any necklaces that say 88 and that kind of thing on them, right? You're not going to have a tattoo on your forehead that says 88 or on your neck. And you'll see that here pretty quick. The same time Hammerskins were selling music, there's a skin brand of clothing. I don't know if it's still a thing or not, but you could buy them on the internet from their website. Nobody would carry them. You can't buy them on Amazon or anything. But they can still sell these and they keep that money to uh, use for whatever skinheads do. Uh, Iron Cross, you got to be careful with the Iron Cross. A lot of legitimate motorcycle groups use Iron Crosses, including Harley Davidson. So it's not necessarily a thing, but it can tell you something. And then 28. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and cheat for you. B8 for blood and honor. So 28 is another one of those white supremacist uh, symbols. 38 is for Confederate hammer skins. 3-8. Is that all making sense? 